Hey guys, it's that dividend guy here. Uh, sorry I missed yesterday. I was with uh, my niece. We had fun for uh, Halloween. I spent the day, most of the day with her, so I apologize I did not record a video on Thursday. But happy Friday. Today we are up uh, $280, so cannot complain about that. <laughs> so on the day we're up about $280. For the week we're up $212. The month we're up $1,153, which is more than I thought it would be. Uh, three months is almost two grand. That's literally like an Amazon share. That's crazy. And then for the year, we're up $1,300. And then all time, we're up 1153 So I'm up an Amazon share, which is awesome <laughs> um, <clears throat> overall. So uh, thank you guys so much uh, for all the support lately. I know I've been getting a couple subscribers here and there. I've been getting decent views. So I really do mean a, it does mean a lot to me. Uh, let's take a look real quick and see who is uh, really making the portfolio push. Uh, great. Uh, Emma was down. That's I love to see that. Coca-Cola is kind of trading. It's positive, but I would say it trades sideways because it's always in like the $50 plus dollar range. Um, 486. Dang. at and still going up crazy high. It's still climbing. That's great. Uh, Abby. Wow. That's what's really doing it. We're up. It's $81. I got in at 72 so I'm up like, what, $8, $9 a share. Wow, and I have 60 shares, so that's that's great. Exxon's down, which is good. Again, guys, I know it's weird. I love saying that my stocks are down. It's my favorite thing because that means I get to buy them at a discount. But just because they're down does not mean I'm getting them at a discount. Let's look. Yep, I will get. I would be getting um, Exxon at a discount, and I believe I would be getting Altria's at 45.06. Yep, a little bit of a discount on Altria, but not crazy big. So... Those are, that. that's how I'm performing, um, and I did change up my watch list, I'll show you guys that real quick, so I got Delta Airlines, uh, because I think it's a decent stock, uh, the PE is really low, I'm looking for low PE stocks in this overpriced market, so uh, Alt, or Delta, Delta Airlines, excuse me, uh, great dividend yield, decent payment history, Bank of America, of course, one of Buffett's favorite stocks, still really low, uh, the market's at 22 right now, and my goal is 15 PE, so if something's below that, I'm really going to want to buy it. Cardinal Health is even lower than that at 10.96, love healthcare, it pays on a month that I need extra payments, so that's great. JP Morgan Chase, this was the stock that Buffett bought the most of this year. Love big banks, love when they're at a discount, it's below 15, it's below 22, so it's at a really good discount right now. Genuine Parts, a little bit less of a discount, it's not at 15, but it's a little bit above, but it's still below the market average, so I still consider that a buy. Uh, then 3M, these are all, I, I, um, I've organized them, so the last three are all kings, so Genuine Parts is a king. 3M, which again, isn't a great discount, but it's decent. Uh, it's below market, but it's just a little bit below. And then you have Johnson & Johnson, which is about two percentage points for PE lower than the market overall. So you can see the market's at 22.28, and it's at 20.62. So not a great, not a very big discount on these stocks, um, on some of these stocks, but I still would consider them buys. So there's about nine of them there, and then, of course, all of them below the S&P are ones that have PEs higher than 22 that I wouldn't even touch right now. So... Funko Pops, I don't have a dead in there. But um, so that's how I'm organizing it now. That's my watch list. Performance-wise, we're doing pretty well, guys. I cannot complain. We're up past 15.5, which was the goal. I didn't think I'd get it this quick. But, you know, market fluctuation is not guaranteed. You know, stocks can still go down. Not a big deal. So I love fluctuation. I love that. I'm kind of bummed that only two of my stocks are, are down, which Exxon I'll keep buying more shares of since I have a guaranteed um, – Cost down average there. MO, I'd probably just ignore it because it's only a few cents per share, so it wouldn't make a big difference. But yep, so uh, Avi and uh, AT&T are the two that are really running up. Target's still doing great, so no complaints here, guys. Super happy to be a dividend investor. Um, really appreciative of all the uh, the love I've been getting for the, that dividend guy channel. Love it, love it, love it. Very thankful. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will have a video coming out on Monday on how I did over the weekend and how I opened on Monday, so... I will have a video. Like I said, I apologize I missed Thursday, but it's Halloween, so I was with my niece. So uh, thank you guys for understanding. I still got decent views, so I'm not really complaining about it. Just trying to build some momentum and keep the momentum going. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the, the new subscribers, all the comments, discussing stocks and whatnot. Keep them coming. I love going back and forth. Um, sorry. Uh, friends share something on Facebook. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I do, like I said, I do really appreciate it. So I, I don't want to be selfish with this. Um, I love stocks. I love talking to people. So feel free to comment whatever you want to below and discuss stocks. I love it. So 
Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys Monday.